What's up, fan bros? This is your boy DJ Ben I mean, We are here live at New York City Comic Con, and the man standing to my right needs no introduction at all. You know him from the fan bros episode. Axel Alonzo is in the building at New York Comic Con. How you doing, sir? I'm good, thank you. All right, man. Good to see you again. Yeah, man. It's been a lot going on since the last time we spoke. Oh, God, I was hinting at stuff. When you I'm really were. You were really hinting at stuff that has now come true. So I think we dropped the Run the Jewels variants at that time, right? And we talked a little no, bit about they were them. Coming. They were they coming. Were we coming. didn't. Yeah, we we'd seen nothing. Oh, no. no. About the run the jewels. We knew the, the run the jewels was it, but none of the rest yeah, of the variants. We're talking about run the jewels, but yeah, but no, you had. I mean, and l I mean, let's talk about it. How's the reaction been to all these hip hop variant covers? It's been stupendous. Yeah. I mean, look, when the artists themselves uh, give you love on social media, you know, from Nas to Killer Mike right. to Prodigy of Mob Deep today to Lil B. You know, spanning <laughs> wow. If you got the blessings from Little B, B you're good. B. No doubt. God yeah. bless you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, we've had a lot of love. Uh, and if you, you know, my Twitter feed has lit up with love from people I've never seen before on my Twitter feed who are interested in this, who love it. Uh, I think that the response to individual covers is even seismic. People are debating, which is my favorite. You know, there a lot of love and a lot of care went into this project. A lot of love and a lot of care. Which one is your favorite? Oh, don't make me do that. Look, it's, it's impossible to do that. I think that there, there are so many that could be my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that maybe my favorite t-shirt would be my Moodoster as ASAP Rocky, Sam Wilson, Captain America. I, that'd be a dope t-shirt. Hell yeah. Um, I All of these, you know, if you, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You know, you go down the list, you know, Jenny Frissons, uh, 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 Ms. Marvel, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Oh, that was um, sick. It was yeah. dope. You know, I mean, again, Mike Del Mundo's Amazing Spider-Man Midnight Marauders. I mean, we could just keep going and going. Today, yeah, the Theodosis Jones, Mob Deep. You know. Oh wait, wait, Theodosis got a Mob because I saw his uh, Hercules. Iron Man, Iron Fist, infamous Mob Deep variant was dropped today. By Theodosis. Theodosis Jones. It's big shout out to Theodosis Jones, friend of the fan bros. Just actually designed one of our more recent flyers. Yeah. It's uh, it's definitely uh, worth looking at. I need guy. to see that. So when you. Well, uh, you got a lot of flack, you know, before people really got a chance to really see what it was all about with the hip-hop covers and a lot of variants and things of that nature. So it kind of has everything calmed down now, now that they've kind of got a feel. And now that with all these announcements coming out, Ta-Nehisi Coates is going to be the uh, writer on the Black Panther and a lot of other bombs. So you're really kind of, you know, encouraging and bringing a lot of people of color, which was kind of like what the pushback was initially. Well, what I'd say is that um, haters are always going to hate. <laughs> and it, you know, so, sometimes if you go out there and you do, you announce to the world that Thor's a female, people come out of the woodworks with a fist and yell at you. Man. You know, I was disappointed by the initial response to these. Um, and I tried to make a very calculated and measured statement, which is, this is the head of the spear. We would not be doing this if we did not have big things planned, like the Black Panther announcement with Tony Easy Coates or David Walker and Sanford Green's Power Man and Iron Fist, or Greg Pak and Frank Cho's Totally Awesome Hulk. We had a lot planned. I could keep going down the list. Uh, I'll cap it there. Uh, th th that was always the plan. Diversity has always been the plan. If you look at the Marvel Universe now, it's never looked more diverse, both in terms of the characters, the talent working on the books, and the styles of art on the books. I think that's a very healthy thing for our medium. A little bit of a personal one for me. I have to ask because we're speaking about diversity. Are there any more plans for the Infinity Gauntlet series or the family of Nova Corps people that was introduced in the Infinity Gauntlet series? I can't speak to that because that's a spoiler, but good oh. try. But good try. Let's just say they're on our radar. They're okay. on our radar, all right? Please. I am in love with that book, Dustin Green. Thank you. Yeah, oh my God. It's so good. All the Fan Bros. Fan.